welcome back to another episode of Last Day on our Survival. Welcome to the brand new update 1.10 today. We got this bad boy, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into everything that it brings and dive into it ourselves because I'm so freaking hyped. I can't believe they actually pushed all the way to 1.10. So let's dive in. Spooky hello, survivors and others too. Though our latest updates were not so big, there is a reason to be specific even to most of you know this year there's going to be not only one event dedicated to the All Saints Day. We've prepared to let's go through the main details. From October 24th till November 10th, you're going to overeat sweets and run after the dead, rising from the graves at the Halloween event. They say floater bloaters are wearing Jason masks, fast biters have pumpkins on their heads, and ravagers have found Freddy's sweater and a hat somewhere. You might check if it's true or not at a mysterious location which suddenly appeared on the global map. A reward has already been offered for the heads of the most furious beasts, but be careful. You you never know who will knock on your door when it's the last Halloween on Earth. Many people kept their own beliefs even after the end of the world. One of them is returning of departed spirits in a particular time of the year to call upon a few survived relatives. What if a zombie apocalypse is the most incredible thing that happened to him? Rarely, if ever, among the spirits will meet La Catrina, who needs you to help lost souls find their way back home. Hurry up, there is not much time. The event will be available from October 26th until November 10th. Are you ready to become an LDOE chef? with mysterious events period and sets or rights at this weird time of year among the holiday rewards you may find a pumpkin hat a theme to chop a skin edible sweets and pumpkins a luchador mask a black sombrero sugar skills and sugar skulls and unique icons all rewards will appear only on holiday locations until the festivities are over that's why you'd rather not miss the start of the events and that's not all what falls to us rumor has it that father john cults signs have been spotted again in the west okay father john is a cult going on cool beans there are many legends about the rituals some say that he believed in great repose while others blame him for summoning the witch can you believe it his personal diary will help you digest the events of the past and figure out if the legends are true the time to complete the event is limited from october 24th until november 10th be quick about it look forward to your feedback on new events your opinion is always very interesting for us and thank you all for the comments you leave because they help us to choose the development direction and make the right content before next update mysterious halloween to everyone see you dear ios users the update will be available in the app store as soon as possible thank you for the support so good news is that it doesn't appear that it's going to be the usual every couple of days for the ios to say like yo this is coming out asap but welcome to 1.10 boys and girls i don't think any of us expected halloween to be taking up the 1.10 slot but apparently the halloween update is so major that it did warrant an upgrade to 1.10 so so far it appears that the first event will be beginning tomorrow in the meantime i'm trying to cop a peek through here and it does not really appear that even though we are in update 1.10 i am not seeing uh, not seeing anything new in the store like no halloween packs or anything like that the events will be popping up starting tomorrow as i was saying but in the meantime a i don't know man maybe Maybe some Halloween zombies have started spawning in. So why don't we go ahead, explore the area and see if anything today has started or if today is just the update in a name, in which case make sure y'all do stay tuned because tomorrow we will be diving in. Oh, the dive, it will be deep into the Halloween event. And then on October 26th, which is Friday. Yes, that is indeed Friday. That is when we will be diving in into the Dia de los Muertos event. And we have all the way till November 10th to go ahead and enjoy those so go ahead and you guys got a little bit of a look a little bit of a little bit of a sneak peek at them through some of those photos through the dev blog and through some of the details that were being shared so go ahead and let me know what y'all think of this update in that comment section down below i would absolutely love to hear yo guys thoughts yo guys opinions any and all of that type of jazz because we have moved up in the world to 1.10 i don't like i'm saying I, I don't think anyone's expecting this update to be the 1.10 update yet here we we are moving up and that means I, I don't know man we still got some great updates to go hopefully in this 1.10 a series of updates some people were like oh it's gonna go up to 2.0 guys that's not that was definitely never guaranteed it should be happening because you do need to take into account the fact that also we're not finding any halloween related stuff at least in the green zone we're not finding anything from chess there's no like halloween items so far so i think it's gonna be happening when the halloween event itself does kick off maybe we'll go and check the bunker and see if the bunker's got anything going but so far and again it does appear that uh 
the event itself has not started today so i'm not really sure why they released 1.10 today because literally I, I, at least I don't know if you guys notice anything different it, oh yeah that's another thing if you guys notice something that may have changed that maybe I haven't noticed or anything uh, especially relating to the Halloween event I'd love to head to you chopper but I'm trying to see if there's new stuff uh, I, I would say maybe check the bunker but I don't think the bunker is really gonna have anything maybe the farm I feel like the farm might maybe have a chance to have some like zombie like things if not maybe we'll run over to that red zone next but it does appear that it is only an update in name nothing in content until tomorrow so make sure y'all are staying tuned for that we will be doing a deep dive into those events doing everything and anything that we can showing off all the dope rewards that halloween will inevitably be bringing and overall having ourselves an absolutely fantastic time but like i was saying let me know in that comment section down below your guys' thoughts on this update which event you're looking forward to the most any of that type of jazz and a reminder that comments will put you one third of the way into the wiki to our dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like put it make sure to subscribe that will enter you in on today's video y'all go ahead and enter it out every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comments from that random video and set will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last night earth information coming your way not to mention that up and date gameplay you already know we cover in 1.10 as soon as it came out it just so happens that 1.10 has nothing until tomorrow apparently so as soon as tomorrow comes around we'll be covering the bejesus out of the halloween event friday we got the diablos muertos event and we still got many more events to come so if you ask me it sounds like a pretty dope investment you know what i mean but not only that it's a great way of staying up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the dope survival games we are checking out and today the fallout 76 series will be beginning in full the beta which is coming out later today we're gonna be diving into it's gonna be out only for like three hours we're gonna try to get as much footage as we can homework be damned because i do have some homework that i need to do that's kind of do a little bit more urgently than i may have once imagined but uh hey it's all good that's an obstacle i don't mind climbing for the good of the game and you know what else i'd I, i'm gonna see if maybe the ravager at least is skinned or if it's only the ravager uh once he comes around here hello Raten yoko how do you do guten tag goodbye to you is this the ravager over here yes it is all right well if i start running away he's gonna start running after us so let's get let's get out of here oh yeah he's chasing after us super hard listen i was just trying to do some scientific research here and yeah like not even the farm has anyone all dressed up maybe we could go to the infected forest and see if the witch is looking spooky uh maybe we'll make a pit stop we'll, we'll stop along for the red forest and we'll make a pit stop along at the infected forest i know that we got the hatch and stuff listen i'm just trying to do this halloween style and see what may or may not be popping off we got a dealer over there cool beats cool beats cool beats as you guys can tell my voice is still a little bit destroyed apologies about that i am doing my very best to get through it but we are back onto the good microphone if you guys have tuned in over the week you guys saw that we were at the PUBG mobile star challenge for twenty thousand dollars I, I didn't get paid i, don't know. I didn't get twenty thousand dollars i wish that would have been nice now we were over there there was a tournament going on that was the prize pool and we got to go and participate not in the tournament but around and kind of like do cool stuff around there and overall it's a fun time getting to meet a ton of people like that and whatnot god dang toxic abomination Woo! god dang it multiple toxic abominations not just one but yeah it was a pretty cool time with that but now we are back having a fan freaking fantastic time back on the recording setup that isn't so mobile because if you guys were tuning in we were literally recording on the go and uh, it was not ideal to say the least recording at home is definitely a 10 out of 10 would record again and I would also find that still no Halloween updates or no Halloween things have appeared to appear so I I'm just bamboozled man like kefir why 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 put out update 1.10 if if nothing changes until tomorrow like I, I i don't i don't know i don't know if any of you guys might have a clue feel free to let me know there's probably some like it's probably they probably have like a decent reason for doing it but at least for my eyes right now it's just kind of like oh well at least i hey at the very least we know that tomorrow this stuff will start streaming in and hey it's a great time for us to go ahead and maybe be like oh let's go ahead and set aside all possible whoop, 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 whoop. why did all of these things that wolf decide to attack us as soon as these guys decide to start chasing us man how how convenient i know these freaking cheeky little boggers 
Let's go ahead and take him down though on the lickety split. And yeah, if nothing comes out of this, we might just go ahead and dive into a little bit of a raid. We still have three C4. I was not able to get it up to four, unfortunately, but uh I don't know, we're gonna go with the flow and er my girl. We got another wolf, but it's okay. He has also died today. And yeah, but I mean, you gotta admit the one nice thing is even though 1.10 has literally not done a single thing, from my knowledge so far, and I mean, from what the dev notes are saying, tomorrow we're also gonna get something about Father John, I believe it is, and his, uh, his story or something like that. They have like been spotted in the West and there's legends about the ritual and something. Uh, they said it's the personal diary, which makes me think, ooh, hello, airdrop. I can make a pit stop off to you. They made it say it's the personal diary, which makes me think that maybe, I mean, the last time we had a diary, the only other time we've had a diary, that was my man, Carlos Rudy C.R. Meaning that it does appear that tomorrow they're, m I, at least from what they're saying and from the only other diary we have to kind of base it off of, uh, it appears that there might be a Halloween themed survival guide or something like that coming out, which is going to be really cool. Maybe it will be giving us all different sorts of event themed items and helping us out along the way. And maybe the missions having to do with it will have to do with, I would, let's freaking go. We're getting a lens and a machete and a blueprint. Not too shabby to say the least. I wish I could show my true hype, but I do not think my voice is capable of that at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. It's a little bit raspy. It's still recovering but uh, we're, we're making progress that's what happens when you go to the lakers rockets home opener game and uh oh nelly that was an electric atmosphere but that's a whole different story what's the story right now is ooh, that's a chopper event but that's forever ever away i want to go and see if maybe i i don't think the witch has changed but we do know that the witch should be having a halloween uh themed person so let's go and see what's popping off over here it's uh, I don't know the only place we can find the witch and at least see if she's changed or if she's only going to be different within the events and tomorrow is when the witch will be available and the zombie turkeys by the way so we'll be trying to murder all of those and get all the items that we possibly can we do see all the flota blotas they're not doing anything ow too crazy and no the witch does not have on a hat or anything so yeah literally 1.10 doesn't do a single thing until tomorrow but like i'm saying it's actually kind of cool to have it come out today and be like hey day one's tomorrow because it's very it's just kind of it's nice to you know do some planning and be able to be like okay okay maybe gotta set a little bit of time aside you know stuff like that i don't know i'm i'm a i'm a pretty meticulous planner so it's kind of like a convenient thing on my side as well uh i mean we could go Ah, I was gonna say we could go check the motel, but at this point, I I don't think there's really gonna be anything too crazy, and I do need to go sprinting off to class relatively soon. So I'm saying, why don't we go do ourselves a little bit of a raid to wrap up today? Apologies that 1.10 doesn't do anything till tomorrow, but that means that y'all should definitely be staying tuned for tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oi, that's gonna be a fun day, lads. We're gonna be having a ton of Halloween shenanigans popping off then and there. So, uh, yeah, make sure y'all get to stay in tune. But without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's complete the Raiders quest and we will go out to see what they have. The healer over here. I can't talk to him, apparently. Hello, healer. Okay, there we go. Now we can talk to him. He does not have anything crazy good. One time, seriously, like one time in the past couple of months, he had the really good one, the one that increases your gun damage by like 10% or something. That is always a very nice one to be uh, reaping the benefits of, you know? But let's go ahead, put those bad boys away, put all this loot we have gathered away and pick up the loot that we need for a little something known as a raid. Talk to y'all. And it's a undercopper peek at our inventory. And we do have actually, we're gonna do a little interesting thing today. We're bringing an extra pair of SWAT boots because our boots are about to break, but the rest of our armor is doing pretty good. Also, as you guys can see, we have not been raided today either. So we are still at that three skull threshold, which is kind of nifty. So we should be able to move up to four skulls after this raid, which will be good. And we should be able to go ahead and collect a ton of the tools of the raid. And uh, yeah, over here, we already got four hatchets left over, plus the one within the confines of our chopper we still got the three c4 over at the chopper we got four more iron hatchets over here and hopefully 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 we have a dope raid to show off for y'all today because we're bringing out the vss man we're pulling out all the stops we still got three c4 at our disposal and i am thirsty oh thirsty i am for something good to go ahead and sink my blood thirsty teeth into and i just use blood thirsty way too many times i apologize but yeah I'm, i also seriously apologize that 1.10 
10. It sounds super hype, but it's just really weird that the hypeness begins tomorrow and we are raiding someone quite literally we are raiding someone named someone so uh someone section someone you better have something good within the confines of that base maybe a floppy disk maybe some shenanigans like that because i want to definitely make sure to uh reap the rewards of something juice delicious like that so let's go ahead and see Ooh la la okay hold up hold up hold up i think i've raided someone like this before i'm not gonna lie this 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 thing right here that is super familiar for some reason oh yeah we that thing in the corner hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. hodor 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 here and then we we might have a nice little nice little base raid for y'all today at the very least like i'm saying I, apologies for one point ten can't wait to your guys' thoughts around in the hype around it at the very least we definitely know when it is coming but for the time being we know that we are not going to be getting really anything today still really weirded out by that decision but it's kind of nifty because you'll be able to kind of plan ahead of time and be like yo let's make sure that we are prepared for this right here but uh here's a, the question is let's make sure that we are prepared for uh i this is probably like we're probably gonna want to break through here all right let's grab that c4 and let's make this dream a reality <laughs> knock knock someone i hope that you got some very good goods within because i brought more than good enough weaponry to say bada bing bada boom and hello it appears that oh i remember this base i remember oh i remember trying to break into that and there was nothing in there, so I am not going to be making that mistake again. I, yeah, this was this was a bit of a weird one. This is the one, like, I think they have a couple of, like... Oh, I remember. I tried breaking down the gun shelf, and it didn't have anything in it. Is this gun shelf still going to be glitched and be like, nope? Oh, at the very least, we can pick those things up. Okay, okay. We're getting a little bit better. We're getting a little bit smoother, but I do remember this base specifically. There should be a couple of things we should be... Oh, let's freaking go! These are some of those... Totally forgot about those and ooh, did I not silence my pistol? Ah, I knew I was in a wee bit of a rush, but uh, it's okay We should be able to go ahead and take all these dudeskis down and pretty nice pretty easy boop, 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 boop. Right there it was like it was like a symphony of boops and these guys should be falling pretty easily pretty quickly as well And there we go, but yeah, I was in a, I don't know man I was just so excited to head on out on the Halloween stuff. I guess I wasn't uh wasn't expecting this to be happening. God dang it. I thought we were going to spend all day today doing Halloween stuff. I saw update 1.10 was out. I saw it was the Halloween update. I'm like, bro, this is about to be wild. And then Kafir, of all people, decides to slap us with the hand of disappointment. Usually it's the game, but today it was, it was Kafir themselves releasing the update like that. I mean, couldn't the Halloween update have started today? Give us like a little bit of a head. I guess it's starting on the 24th, which is like a week before the actual uh, actual Halloween begins and nothing super crazy in there. Oh, we should probably break through this bad boy first. I'm just like, I'm kind of like pretty comfortable breaking through these things because I remember last time we were breaking through stuff. Yo! Okay, we're buying, we're finding some pretty good stuff. That's for show. Sure. A lot of yellow tickets and whatnot. Let's go ahead and organize that. Uh, we are gonna be we're gonna be leaving some stuff behind. That's for sure. Why don't we put away our hydration? We'll go ahead and hydrate up a little bit there. And uh, why don't we? Yes, yeah, honestly, we don't need those boots. Who need them boots? Okay, I'm trying to make up a little bit of room because we got a whole ton of good stuff to be grabbing. And at the very least, it looks like we got a pretty weapon-filled raid for the price of one C4 because I remember this raid very specifically, and. It, for the price of one C4, we could use more C4 technically, but listen, the old, like, ah, I remember breaking into this room. There was nothing in that room. Maybe that's changed in this update, but mm, I, I'm, I've literally seen nothing in that room. I am not risking my biscuit for that, especially because there are plenty of other walls we should be able to break into pretty stress-free, and there should be a couple of chests scattered about through these, like this black trunk right here. So that would be very, very nice. What you got in store for me? Uh, okay, he's got a couple of things. Although ever since this update, I don't know if it's just maybe this base or if something weird is going on, but every chest that we do break into does have this like weird thing happen where it's like, okay, now that time it didn't happen, but I'd press space. My guy would like walk over the chest and then he would do nothing after that. So let's go ahead and stop VSSing these little schmucks right here and hopefully doing, uh, I mean, a critical every once in a while wouldn't be too shabby either. Uh, come on, babies, where art thou? I got some VSS bullets to shove and they're going right in your 
your face. Sorry to say for your face, but uh, hey, I don't know. Get, am I really sorry? After all, I, I continue pulling the trigger, so maybe the sorrow is a little bit overstated, but nothing too crazy in there, but we've already found a decent amount of stuff, and there is another wood involved you could break into, which I do think we are gonna do, and hey, hello, a couple of trunks. I could get behind a couple of trunks. No complaints from me. No sorry. Let's go ahead and see where this room may go ahead and lead into. Is this the courtyard or something? Yeah, I, dude, I remember this base. I knew, I was just like someone, as weird as that sounds and super generic, that actually sounded familiar. And what do you know, familia. It was, whoop, 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 whoop. was not expecting these dudes already. Holy hell. Okay, okay, okay. We got to start uh, shoving all these bullets in Day's faces as well. And then by the time the big one rolls around, we could just start using the pistol. It won't matter. Bless up. We got that critical, which is very nice. But this one is definitely not, dude. If anything, you know what this, this is teaching me? To remember just how blessed we are. It's a have a fully modded VSS. Because when we whip that bad boy out, mm, mm, mm. That is a juice delicious bad boy, let me just say. That thing does a whole ton of damage. Great critical hit chance, but even this VSS, man, it's definitely no pushover. It goes without saying, and yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use our pistol a little bit. We might add like one noise total. Could have definitely been worse, so I'm pretty cool with that outcome. It's not the worst outcome in the world. We'll take whatever we can get and I mean, we're done with these chests. We got a couple of more slots here for some stuff. We could actually free up a little bit of room there. Uh, so we can go ahead and pick up four things. There might still be a couple. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we should be able to break into this. Oh, knock, knock. Yes, sir. We should be able to break a super easy into this room as well. And that is a room or oh, emptiness. Dang it, Bobby. God. Dang it. All right. Well, that leaves us with, I mean, empty gun shelves. Can't do much about that. Can't do much about... I mean, we, we still got to break through, like, two more chests. We could definitely break through this one. And then the next one will summon the big one and get us chased on out of here. And so far, there doesn't appear to be anything super crazy. Not even any, like, crazy skins for us to pick up. Uh, Oi! How could I forget about this? I knew. I knew we still had to go pick up some stuff from some of these. And, uh, I mean, I'll pick up the three red tickets. I need me some red tickets. We got plenty of greens. I might as well load up on some yellows. Action. And. Mm, mm. Why don't we go ahead? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to chop this bad boy a one, a two. And then I'm going to go ahead and swap out this partially used hatchet for that. And we're going to have to use one chop to get into this. But no worries. We should be Gucci. And then we got to go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, uh, actually, some decent stuff over here. Good about that. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and get out of here before the big one decides to pop up. Hello, big one. He decided to pop up. How you doing? Well, it's so... Ow! He freaking sniped me through that window. That is not nice, but uh, yeah, with that said, with that done, we have completed our raid for today, actually getting some very, very nice stuff, which is good, and we have gotten the update 1.10. Unfortunately, it has not added anything yet, but like I'm saying, tomorrow, make sure y'all are staying tuned and checking in, because tomorrow is the day that Halloween begins and dude it's been such a hot minute since we've had any type of seasonal events to be able to have this uh, i'm genuinely very very excited this is gonna be way better than the last year's halloween event i mean we had some pretty cool chinese new year and other events but this is the first event we've had in months and they have like two different locations dedicated to it they, they i don't know man from the sneak peeks we've seen it looks like they put a lot of work into it it looks like it might be the best one of if not the best Hollow, not Halloween. I keep saying Halloween instead of holiday. Freaking H's holiday updates to come our way. But with that said, get out of here, Toxic Spinner. With that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on a Survival. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say regarding update 1.7 and the excitement to come. And ooh, piece of candy. Go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll leave behind a hatchet. I think that's, that's pretty fair. But yeah, can't wait to hear what y'all got to say. Best of luck in the giveaway. Best luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck, Brittany. Up, get the true friend perk leveled up. Your yeah, oh, the perks and skills, not to mention. Oh, yeah, those old, those little perks and skills right there, not to mention. Find the very best blueprints for the very best guns and building up the very best attachments. That's you can. Best of luck building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses of the game as they throw at you. 
getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout, not to mention being excited and being prepared for Halloween. Like I'm saying, stay tuned tomorrow, hop on in, we'll be covering that entire event, what to expect, and making sure you can come prepared. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.